students to this third lecture, this third lecture in microbiology, and the title of this lecture is Observing Microorganisms Through a Microscope. Uh, we learned in a previous lecture that microorganisms cannot be seen with the unaided eye. So it was through the development of the microscope and microscopic techniques that we got the physical evidence. It was centuries since the first speculation or the first idea of microorganisms until we got the actual physical evidence. So this lecture is providing the physical evidence for microorganisms by observing them through a microscope. The units of measurements for uh, microorganisms are micrometers. A micrometer is 10 to the minus 6 meters and that uh, in scientific notation means 1 1 millionth of a meter or 0 .000 zero 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 one meters one one millionth of a meter is a micrometer uh, the early microscopes were simple microscopes they only had one lens in them in fact it was uh, Anton von Leeuwenhoek who was the first to see microorganisms and he only had a simple microscope some people speculated that he made up his results and he was just having illusions, but in fact, his descriptions of microorganisms were far too accurate to, uh, to be made up. And so I, I believe that he really saw them, but he only had a simple microscope, a microscope with one lens. That's Leeuwenhoek, first to see microorganisms. Um, today we have compound microscopes. Compound microscopes have two lens systems in them. They have an ocular lens, which is you look, the part you look through with your eye, and then they have an objective lens, which is down by the specimen. And so the total magnification of a compound microscope is the magnification of the ocular lens multiplied by the magnification of the objective lens. And when we observe microscopes,